evening, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, excuse me. As we wait for this game to kick off, quick word from our sponsors at Academy. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at Academy.com or get free curbside or in store pickup at your Academy store. Here up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Again, please go visit Academy with all your needs and sports desire. So, getting ready to get this one started off. Looks like we have number 13 at bat for the Jaguars. That would be Johnson. Johnson at bat here. Pitching for the Titans. Have number double zero Miller. So let's get this one underway. Top of the first inning. And striking a miss. already a problem for me. Rosters trying to fly away. I have to find a way to keep these rosters held down. So a couple strikes, a couple balls here on the first uh, first one at bat. Again, this is Zaria Johnson here at bat. And there's a hit toward first base and it's going to be an easy out for the Titans is able to just walk her way to first base to cause that out and that's going to be the first out of the game. First out of the game made by the Titans, so a good start for them. Up next at bat, we have number four, Maya Crawford. So here comes Maya Crawford. First pitch from Christina Miller is a strike. And it's going to be hit, toss the first, and another out. So back-to-back -back outs to start the game off for Maynard Newtek. So about as good of a start as you can have here if you're Maynard Newtek. Here at bat now we have number 11, two outs already. Uh, this is to be Wallace. Ooh, bat out to be a foul ball off of Wallace. <coughs> so two strikes early for Maynard New Tech. Good start for them. Two strikes one on bases for the Jaguars, so good start. We got uh, two balls, one strike here. Well, that one's going to be a, a fly ball to the left, but it's going to be a foul ball. So two balls, two fouls here. Two outs. Maynard New Tech looking to switch. So, two balls, two strikes here. And it's going to be another foul ball. Oh, 
that's going to be a good hit there. Toward left field, and it's going to be caught for the out. So three outs here. Maynard needs to so three bats, three outs, uh, about as good of a start as you can get here. If you're the Titans, this is a great start for them. Got to be excited for them. They, this is how you want to start it off. So if we go to the bottom of the first. Uh, score remains 0-0 zero, zero here at East Metro Park. And this is Vibe Live. You say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what VIPE is saying about your great community. See for yourself why VIPE is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPE.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, VIPE stands above the rest. VIPE can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at VIPE, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, VIPE stands above the rest. VIPE can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at VIPE, V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com, and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Way to start the bottom of the first. Oh, it 
the bunt there, number 11, for another quick single. So, now have batters on both first and second. So, a uh, great start for Maynard New Tech. Both batters having success early. So, bottom of the second, no outs thus far. Bottom of the first, excuse me. Bottom of the first. Run on base one and two for Maynard New Tech. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, for the Jaguars, number 14 at pitcher Sonia Lampkin. Oh, there's going to be a... Um, looks like two bases stolen there. So we now have a runner on third and a runner on second. So runner on third, runner on second. Maynard Newtick looking to get on the board first. At, uh, at bat right now, number one looks to be Solis. So no outs for Maynard Newtick. Looking to get on, looking to strike first here. It's gonna be a ball. Three balls, three balls, no strikes. Uh, and that's gonna bring a runner home for the first points of this game. So Maynard New Tech strikes first. Oh, looks like, t Looks like we'll actually have two runs in. Okay, so a bit of miscommunication there by the Jaguars. Brings in two, two scores for Maynard New Tech. So a bit of miscommunication there by the Jaguars. Brings in two scores for Maynard New Tech to start this one off. Again, runner on third, no outs. So about as, about as good of a start as you can have in this one. So, 2-0 lead, no strikes. First pitch there by number 14, Lampkin. That's going to be a ball, one. Ball a little high on that one. It's gonna be ball number two. <coughs> ball three. So pitches might be the wind affecting her. Um, so very windy out t today. Um, so we got three balls, no strikes here. Again, the wind definitely playing its toll in here on this one. So a few high ones. As my pin hits the floor, yeah, wind definitely uh <laughs> definitely something that's gonna be ball number four, so we're gonna get a runner to oh, we're gonna have a runner walked here to first base. <sighs> Brings on number ten Roberts. Roberts here at bat. Again, zero outs thus far for Maynard Newtech. I'll uh, be strike number one as we get a stolen <laughs> strike number strike number one there is so we had a runner still for second so a runner on third a runner on second Roberts with the hit of center field oh that's gonna be hit the ground and it's gonna bring in the third score of this game potentially a fourth Gonna bring in a fourth score, so two, uh, a bit more miscommunication by the Jaguars makes the score 4-0 to start this one off. So that's gonna make it a 4-0 lead with zero out, so a tremendous start from Andrew Newtech. Uh, just a bit of miscommunication there by the Jaguars. Uh, not throwing the ball to home plate. 
they got to get the ball out much faster than that if they want to slow down this run by Maynard Nucek here at the bottom of the first. Yeah, this win today, folks, nothing to play with. Wind is definitely... <coughs> bit of an issue for <laughs> not only the players but me here with the rosters as well they try to get away so one ball one strike here by Lampkin zero out so they're gonna need to land some outs here before game gets too out of whack one ball one strike oh and there goes Roberts going to steal. Who's going to steal two bases? Oh, man. Okay. Well, Robert's going <laughs> to be able to take that one all the way, and she's going to get another score. And so, make that a 5-0 lead here. Uh, so, ball just not going in the direction the Jaguars wanted to go. They're not able to complete these these deep balls. Make it a 5-0 lead, bottom of the bottom of the first here. No outs, so great start for Maynard Newtech. Brings on number 15, Sands. At bat. Looks like a uh, runner is going to steal second, and she does. So that's really the story of this uh, first inning. A lot of stolen, a lot of stolen bases here. Stolen bases turning into points for Manor Newtex. So again, no outs here to start this one off. So Jaguars are going to have to step up the d on the defensive end. Ooh, there's the bunt attempt. So, after a failed bunt attempt. Again, uh, this is Roberts here at bat for Manor New Tech. It with a 5 0 lead. Here in this inning. And it's going to be a walk there for Roberts. Going to go to first. Yeah, one of the coaches just mentioned it's just uh, Jaguars uh, in purple, just not communicating. Um, Runners stealing bases and just a lack of communication, not really talking to each other out there. So things are things they're gonna have to clean up if they wanna not let this game get away from them. A strike there on the first pitch by Lampkin. Um, at bat currently have a uh, Rojas. At bat, so one strike. There's a hit. Oh, got to get that one. Oh. God. So, ball down center field, line drive, and second base just couldn't make a decision there if she wanted to throw it to first or tag the runner. Unfortunately, cost a run to first. 
We got bases loaded here. It's a main or new tech, so dangerous position to be in. Be the Jaguars. Already down 5 0, bases is loaded. So. Pausing the action here. A swing and a miss there. It's gonna be strike number one. So strike number one, number twelve, Hogan. Here at bat. Base is loaded. One strike, one ball here. Be a high one up on that one. Makes it a makes it a t t one strike, t two balls. Bottom of the first inning uh, on this. Tuesday evening, windy skies, no sun. All main or new take early. Uh, looks like that'll be a ball three. So ball three, one strike. Ooh, that'll be a strike there. So, ball three, uh, two strikes, so she's gonna have to make a decision here. So, here's Hogan. Gonna have to decide if she wants to take the chance on this one or. Oh, there's a st oh, that's gonna be the third strike. So Hogan's gonna strike out. It's gonna be the first out for the Jaguars. So they're able to get a they're able to get a strike out. So brings up the first out of the bottom of the first. Excuse me, that is that was that was the second out here for the Jaguars. So. This could be a crucial stop here. Down 5 0, bases still remain loaded. So, if you can get a third out here, it be pretty significant. Well, this one gets completely out of the way. It's going to be another ball on that one. A bit too high. Oh. Alright, well, they're going to. Apparently they're going to rule that one in out and they're going to switch switch possession. So, we're going to go to the top of the top of the second. Score remains 5-0 here at Maynard New Tech. So, we will be back. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. 
Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VipeVYPE.com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEVYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEVYPE.com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEVYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEVYPE.com. So here we go at the top of the second inning. Um, 5 0 lead. Maynard New Tech. So about a, as good of a first inning as you could have there to start this one off. Jaguars look to rebound. Jaguars look to rebound and um, try to get on the board here. At bat, we have number nine, Analia Scott here. Christina Miller remains the pitcher. Should be a strike strike there. Three balls, one strike. And it's gonna be a walk. So a walk there by Christina Miller is gonna get their first base then on brings up number seven for the Jaguars uh, Nicole Contreras sorry for mispronouncing that folks this is all handwritten for me so <laughs> you know I'm, uh, I'm doing my best here but uh, Nicole number seven here for for the Jaguars, see what she has. Christina Miller remains at bat. I mean, excuse me, Christina Miller remains at the mound. Um, no, looks like we're gonna get a quick substitution. It brings in number one up at bat, uh, Nana Viegas. Nana, so or Nana Viegas. So Viegas here up at bat, number one. Uh, one pitch, uh, strike one. Uh, Viegas shakes it off, so she must like what she sees there. So strike one. <coughs> oh, there's a hit there up the center field. Good and ooh, see what they're gonna. Let's see. Oh, they're gonna rule. They're gonna rule her out on second base, so a split decision call there, and man, this chick's gonna get out. All right, so um, man, they're taking it to secure an out as we have Viegas on first, brings in Nicole. Brings up Nicole back at bat here. So runner on first. Ooh. Uh oh. Let's see if she's okay. 
Ball hits ball hits Nicole's knee. Hopefully she's okay. She runs off. Uh <laughs> okay, looks like she's gonna be fine. She just walks it off. Good for her. Grabbing that knee a little bit, but she walks it off and seems to be okay. Brings up number six, uh Alex uh Alexander here. Uh, let's see. Yep, brings up number six, Alexander here at bat. So runner on first, runner on second for the Jaguars. Looking to cut into this 5-0 deficit. Oh, gonna be a strike one on that one. Strike number two. So good, good start for Christina Miller here. Quick two strikes. And let's see what they're gonna rule that one. Looks like it's gonna be a ball on that one. Ooh, it's gonna be a foul ball on that one. Bit of a chant coming from the Jaguar sideline. Oh, try to steal first, and I mean, excuse me, tries to see what they're gonna rule that one. Um, looks like she's safe. So Viegas able to steal to third, and she gets there on time. So Viegas escapes to third. So runner on third runner on second Jaguars trying to again cut into this 5-0 deficit here top of the second oh that's gonna be a uh, strike three strike three there brings up uh, Franco brings up number number two Franco here runner on third runner on second And uh, strike one. <coughs> strike two. So it's this to be a crucial stop here. The two strikes. Strike three. So three strikes, th three outs. What a effort there by Christina Miller. Brings us to the bottom of the second. Score remains 5-0. 5-0 all Manor new check to start this one off. This is Vibe Live. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. We get ready to kick off the bottom of the second. Just want to remind you all over to make sure you go to Academy for all your sports paraphernalia, all your sports apparel. Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy 
sports and outdoors. That is, again, academy.com, the sponsor of this broadcast. Make sure you check them out and get all your gear there as we get ready to launch the bottom of the second here with Maynard New Tech, a 5-0 lead. Looks like we're going to have number nine, Sarita, here at bat. So, here we go. Manor to check looking to continue this lead and run up the score as best they can. Uh, Vite Media, I can send you a link if, yeah, sure, one second, one second, um, actually, let me just, it'll be faster to, let me see, yeah, give me one second. No, you're fine. You're okay. Uh, uh, let me find it. Jeez, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Here we go. I found it. All right. What is your phone number? Four six nine three six three zero one seven four. Okay. Just sent it. Thank you. Yeah, they recorded. And I'm back here. Sorry about that. A quick delay. Had a couple people asking for the stream link so must be doing something right on my end <laughs> they want to get the link to send off to whoever they need to send off so <coughs> sorry about that a little break in action but runner on first here for Maynard New Tech so again uh, complete very just about as good of a start as you can have here so runner on first Be a ball there. At bat, we have number 11, uh, Reyes. So Reyes at bat. Ooh, that's going to be a strike and a miss there. Makes it a strike. One strike, one ball here. Lampkin remains that pitcher for the Jaguar. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna get away from her. It's gonna bring a runner to second. Oh, she's gonna try to get to third, and she's gonna get there. So pitch just too high there. Allows allows number nine Sarita to steal two bases, get to third. There's a hit. Oh, throws so it to first, but that's not going to stop Sarita from going in for the point. 
making it a 6-0 lead for Manor New Tech. Six oh lead. Bottom of the second. The wind started to the wind slowed down a bit here. <coughs> the wind slowed down. Um, I would know my papers aren't flying the flying anymore, so good for everyone. At bat here we have number one uh, Solis. strikes that's going to be a walk so four, ball four is going to walk it's going to walk Solis bringing up double low Christina Miller Man, a new take pitcher coming up at bat here. Having success already as a pitcher. Let's see what she can do on the other end. Oh, runner tried to steal second. Uh, let's see. And she's going to get there safe. So she's going to stay at one out. Jaguars just not able to... Okay, a little bit of confusion on the outs here. Let's see, a little bit of confusion here. Alright, so we're gonna have a little bit of an intervention here, trying to see who has whether it's two outs or one. So, man and new tech coaches come together. Uh, it's going to remain one. So, one out. Stays at one out. One out, bottom of the second. A little coach's intervention there to decide it. So, one out. Oh, there's a, let's see gonna be a ball gonna be a walk so Miller's gonna walk so I think ball hit Miller's leg so she's gonna get a walk there <coughs> brings up number 10 Roberts runner on first runner on second Bit antsy there on the second, on second base. <laughs> She's gonna run. The <laughs> oh no! Just unable to get it. She's gonna take off to home, and she's gonna get there safely. <laughs> what a play there by Solis. <laughs> Bit mind tricks there, trying to got her to bite on it, and 
And she did bring, and she comes home, makes it a 7-0 lead. A little bit of uh, mind tricks there by Sellers to get the run in. Makes it a 7-0 lead. So, 7-0 lead. Roberts remains at bat here. One out. Uh, ball two. No strike. Pitch a bit too high there by Lampkin. So ball three. No strike. Oh, that's going to bring another runner home there. And Roberts is going to go to first, and looks like Miller is going to come in for the score. Makes it an 8-0 lead. 8-0 lead now for Maynard. New Tech offense. The stolen base is the name of this game. So an 8-0 lead here. So... Uh, Stolen base and uh, some miscommunications on the on the throws by the Jaguars. That's gonna be too high on that one. Ball two there. <laughs> and the strike there by Lampkin. Might get a bit chilly out here. Might have to put a jacket on. Ooh. She's been called a foul ball there. She's okay. Dove there for that one. First here, number 15 here at bat, the Sands. Swing and a miss. Runner's going to steal the second base. If I fix the... <coughs> it's going to be a 
ball there. We got uh, two balls, one strike. Lampkin remains at the mound. That can be a strike two there. So Lampkin remains at the mound. Roberts uh, at bat here. It definitely starts to get a little colder here at Maynard New Tech. Ooh, there's a swing and a miss there and a out. Three outs to be exact. So Jaguars doing what they need to do here and down 8 0 as we're going to go to the third inning. Here at Maynard New Tech, this is Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, about yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. But takes the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by the... For hey, high school sports networks, second to nothing. Discriminating sports fans. Hey, buddy, you say you wish for high school sports coverage second to none. Discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, <laughs> your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Down for the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football. But Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Side in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From the cross to the pitch to the court and more. The leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. B-Y-P-E. David West back here at the bottom of the second here. Man, a new tech up 8-0 here. Jaguars back at bat here at the bottom of the second. Looking to get a run on the board to s remain in this game. Christina Miller remains at the mound for Manor New Tech and As the uh, Maynard New Tech coach, Coach Peets, comes by to say a few words, and we'll keep this one going. <coughs> so, like I said, Christina Miller remains at the mound. 
pitching a very good game here, and like I just said, uh, gets a strike there on that one. It's going to be strike number two, strike and a miss. Be a ball on that one. Two balls, two strikes. And strike number three. Christina Miller continues her good game. So Christina Miller again continuing her excellent performance here. <laughs> oh, there's a fly ball left field. Uh, that's a great hit there. Number 13, Lazario Johnson. Bringing some energy here for the Jack. Oh, she's going to try to go all the way, and she's going to do so relatively easily. What a what a hit there to get on the board. So hit left field goes all the way for the first point of the game for the Jaguars. So, uh, makes gets uh, gets on the board for the Jaguars getting their first point of the game. So number four. <laughs> not, not on TV yet. No. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> brings up number four for the Jaguars. Number four, Maya Crawford here. So hopefully, well, let's see. Oh, there's going to be a foul ball that comes over here to the gate in front of me. Got to love these gates, man. That one would have took my head off <laughs> if this gate wasn't here. So very thankful for the gate today. Again, this is Maya Crawford here at bat following the, following the score by Johnson went all the way on a, a ball that remained in play and took it upon herself to go and she was able to get the points on the board so there's a hit line drive and she's safe so okay a bit of momentum here a bit of momentum here for the Jaguars yes indeed two, cons two consecutive hits and it's going to bring on Wallace So, let's see if we can con get these consecutive hits going. Brings up Wallace. Oh, there's a hit, but it's going to be a foul ball. So another hit, just unable to stay into the field of play. But got to be encouraged if you are a Jaguars fan. With a late burst of energy here at the bottom of the second. Aggressive on that one, swung and a miss. So, two strikes here. It'll be a ball on that one, ball to the right, wide right. One ball, two strikes here. Ooh, a little low on that one. And it's going to be a stolen base there. So Crawford, aggress being aggressive, going to steal. Get to second. So ball to 
Jutsu, two strikes. Oh, there's a hit there, but that's going to be a foul ball. What a good hit there. Fly ball just out too far left. So, we're going to stay with Wallace here. Oh, there it is. Swing and a miss. Out. Brings up number nine, Analia Scott. Analia Scott here. Be a low one there. Low one there. It's going to be an automatic walk. Brings up number one, Viegas. Had a triple on her last bat, so looking to continue. See a strike there. Good pitch there by Miller. Foul ball on that one for the first strike. Be a ball there. As we approach 7.30 here on this Tuesday evening at East Metro Park. Again, this broadcast presented by Academy, courtesy of Vibe Live. It's going to be the third strike and the third out. Take us to the top of the third. So that will bring us to the top of the third inning here at... Maynard New Tech again. This is Vibe Live. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating yeah. sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you uh, Vibe stands above the rest. Yeah. Vibe can provide your school uh, and your entire there. school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com.
for high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. And back here at the... Top of the third here. Top of the third here. Made a new tech all over this one. Leading 8 1 here at the top of the third. Lemkin remains at the mound. We have number 24 up at bat. That'll be Rojas. Rojas up at bat. <clears throat> no outs, top of the third. Ooh, there's a good pitch there by Lampkin, swinging a miss. We got one ball, two strikes. This will be ball number two. Another ball there. It's gonna be a walk there for Rojas. So she's gonna get the walk after ball four. Brings up number six to be Gallegos. Jimena Gallegos. So one ball here to start this one off. Oh, there's a hit that's going to stay in play. Yeah, it's going to be easy out there. So uh, she's going to be out on that one. Oh, man. Let's see what's, what's been a some bit more confusion here. See what's going on here. Um, two outs, and she's going to. It's 
So after the drop ball, she still s manages to be out on that one. So, so a quick two outs there for the Jaguars. So two outs, number nine here at bat, Sarita. Sarita. Ooh, there's a hit, line drive. Ooh, Johnson makes the throw and forces the out. So uh, that's the great defensive effort there by Johnson and this whole Jaguars team to force the quickest three outs of this game th by far. So quick three outs brings the Jaguars back at bat at the at the end of the break here. Again, this is Vipe Live. Yeah. For the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe. So, here we go. Bottom of the third here, Jaguars back at bat. Miller remains at the mound. At seven here we got Nicole. So number number seven Nicole here at bat for the Jaguars, trailing one eight here at the bottom of the here at the bottom of the third. Gonna force a strike there on that one. Foul ball on that one. Good hit. Just too much, too much on the left end. So foul ball. Another hit, but a foul ball. Favoring that left side, just unable to keep it in the play. <coughs> so, two consecutive foul balls hit by Nicole. Ooh, as a swing and a miss, and an out. So Nicole's going to be forced out on that one. Brings up number six, Alexander. I believe that is Kalia Alexander, number six here, I bet.
apologies for the internet mishaps, folks. We're trying to work on that right now as we speak. <coughs> Try to see what's going on with this internet right now, but just update you the score remains 8 1, bottom of the third inning. We got uh, Juarez here at bat for the first time tonight. So, ball two, one strike. Ball three, one strike, one more ball. She will be walking. And yeah, it's going to be a walk. Ball too high on that one. Going to force the walk there. Brings in number five, Tati Jones. Uh, let's see, Jones. Let's see what's going on with Jones. There looks like she's gonna have to do something with her helmet. <coughs> so looks like they're gonna take a look at Jones here. In the meantime, let me just go ahead and remind everyone that this broadcast is brought to you by Academy so sponsor of this broadcast here presented by Vibe Live so Jones here at bat for the first time of the night as well see what she has in store gonna be a, a swing and a miss for that one and a stolen base there Selling base by Juarez, gets the second. There's a good hit there, but Jones is going to be quickly sent out on that one. That's going to be three outs. Quick three outs on that one, which is going to take us to the top of the fourth inning here at East Metro Park. This is Vibe Live. school sports coverage second to none discriminating sports fans booster clubs and student bodies will tell you vibe stands above the rest vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget find out more information at vibe vype.com vype.com Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEYPE.com. Yeah. For the end zone, touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From the 
lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more. The leader in high school sports coverage is White Sports. BYP. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? So, here we go, top of the fourth inning here at East Metro Park. Score remains 8-2-1 here at East Metro Park. At bat we have uh, number 11, Reyes. Be a ball on that one. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is White Sports. BYPESports.com. Uh, see, we got a, another ball there. So uh, a couple, a few balls there. Let's see. Sorry if there's any internet difficulties, folks. Working on getting those amended right now as we speak. Lampkin remains at the mound. And ball number four, and that's gonna be a walk there for <coughs> number eleven Reyes. Brings up number one, Solace. Have a couple shots here in this one. Ooh. Guess they're gonna call that one too high for a ball, and that's gonna be a stolen base there by Reyes. Still goes to second. She's going to try to steal another base, and she does so. So Ray is aggressive here. S two stolen bases. Brings her to third. We got Solis on first. I mean, excuse me, Solis. Oh, what a catch that would have been. Just too fast there. Oh, and she's going to get the double there. Oh, she... It's going to bring in a... Bring in a runner to make the score. Nine to one. Ooh. Ample opportunity there to make a catch and make a play for that one. Vegas just unable to corral that one near third. And it results in a not only a double, but a, a run scored for Maynard Newtech. Can't have those mistakes here this late in the game. Ooh, there's another hit there. Just not able to get there in time. Oh, and we're going to get a batter. Oh, they're going to try to get the double. Forces an out there. Okay. So, again, man, new tech very aggressive to end this one. Um, it works in their favor. They're going to get another point on the board, make it 10-1. But uh, they're going to force the quick out there. So we got a 10-1 lead with two outs here at the top of the fourth inning. Got 
Robert Sear at bat. One strike on the board. Too high on that one by Lampkin. ball there. So, two outs here. Could be another ball there. Just too high on that one by Lampkin. Gonna be ball number four and a walk for Roberts. Bringing up Sands, number 15. So here we go with Sands here. Up at bat, runner on first from the walk. Strike there by Lampkin. Good pitch there for the force to strike. Ooh, strike and a miss there, Lampkin. Another one, so a couple back to back good pitches there. See if she can end it right here. Could be a big out. One ball, two strikes. And that's going to be a third strike, forcing out. So that's what you want to see. That is fly ball, but it's going to be a foul to the right side. Line drive, oh, goes past two. Just unable to be corralled by Viegas. Unable to be corralled, and it's going to result in a, a single there.
and a good strike. Good, good one there by Lampkin forces the early strike. Already two out, so. Gonna be a ball there. There's a hit there. Oh, just again, unable to corral it. That's going to bring Roberts home. And it might maybe another one. Yep, that's going to bring in two. Two runners are going to come in. Roberts. <laughs> Roberts. <laughs> Roberts and Roberts. <laughs> so both Roberts going to come in. So make it uh, for two scores, make it a 12. 12. One lead. So again, kind of the story of this game for the Jaguars. Just well, line drive hits, just unable to be scooped up. Really playing to the detriment of the Jaguars in this one. Oh, that's oh, ah, Steeler tries to go to second and she gets it. Ball just thrown too high. Yeah, again, just miscommunication there for the Jaguars. There's a hit. That's going to be a foul ball. Going backwards. So, foul ball there by Jimena. Ooh, that's gonna be wide to the right. Another for another ball there. a walk for Jimena there. Ooh. Gallops to first. Bring it in. Bring it in at bat four. Made a new tech number nine. Excuse me, number s uh, let me see. So two outs here, a 12-1 lead, top of the fourth. Uh, let's see if she's gonna try to. That was stolen base there. Drive. Ooh, that's gonna be straight up. That's gonna bring in a runner. 
potentially two. Yes, brings in two runners. Jimena and Rojas. They're gonna bring in two more scores for Maynard New Tech. So just having their way out there to tonight, make it a 14 to one lead. Remaining two outs remain. It's the top of the fourth. Ooh, there's a fly ball down center field. Oh, she just can't catch that one. That's going to bring in another runner. And Rojas looks to go all the way, and she's going to do exactly that. Reyes, excuse me. Reyes. I won't, miss you, I won't mispronounce your name again, Reyes. Fly ball down midfield and brings in another two runs. What a hit. Great hit that was. Unbelievable. <laughs> Looks like they're going to call the game on that one. So Maynard Newtech's going to escape this one with a W. Uh, Bex, uh, just an offensive explosion there. Just did what they needed to do and were able to take advantage of a few miscommunications by the Jaguars and played into their favor. And I know this, got, this has to be a great win for them. Uh, dropping the last game pretty significantly, they came out and sort of returned the favor and had their way with this one, so gotta be happy for them. Before we wrap up before we wrap up here for Vite Media, one more thing I got to say before we wrap it up. This broadcast is brought to you by Academy.com.